Hi Cancer, welcome to your September weekly reading. This is from the 4th to the 11th of September 2019. We're going to be seeing what's going on in your love and career. Check out the other placements for additional messages as this is a general reading, so messages may or may not apply. And keep in mind, things may not resonate at the current moment, but down the line, it may come out. <laughs> come out? What? What does, that even, what does that even mean? Well, maybe secrets are coming out. I don't know why I said come out. Maybe you're coming out. <laughs> oh my god, okay, let's, let's, let me shut, shut the fuck up. Okay. Hi, Cancer. Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your September weekly reading. This is for the 11th... Oh, shit. Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your September weekly reading. This is from the 4th to the 11th of September 2019. We're going to be seeing what's going on in your love and career and see what messages need to come through. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. Messages may or may not apply. Check out your other placements for additional messages. Also, this may not resonate at the current moment, but perhaps down the line in the near future or like six weeks from now, this may actually be your situation that I... I'm talking about so I could be picking up on past energy your current energy something that's happening in the near future or something that will happen a couple months from now or maybe nothing at all because free will so just keep in mind if there are any messages that you do not like in this reading you can change it due to your free will nothing set in stone nothing is 100% tarot is just meant to give you some insight on your situation give you advice Give you some clarity, blah blah blah. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. And if you don't, well, Google search it, okay? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna be seeing what's going on in the next week for September. Can you believe it's already September? Like, where the fuck is this year gone? Like, it's it's September now. It's crazy shit. Crazy shit. Anyway, let's focus on you guys. What messages do we have for cancer? This is like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This little bitch. Ow, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit, okay. Don't do what I did. You don't want to burn yourself. My God. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. What messages do we have for my Cancerians? Any messages? Oh my god. Any messages for Cancer? Sun, Moon, and Venus. Also know that you can swap the roles. I can be talking about the person you're dealing with, so just know that it still resonates. If you're talking about your person, you just gotta swap it. That's for some of you if you didn't know. Because some people will be like, um, this isn't me. This is the person I'm dealing with. Dislike and just like, it's still your situation, is it not? Like, I mean, whatever. But yeah, I just thought I'd just let you guys know. Alright, let's do a couple more. One more shuffle. Okay, I guess I was like, couple more. Oh, look, these two wanted to come out. I was like, couple more shuffles. And I was like, one more. And, and these two came out. Let's get one more for your pre-shuffle. Any messages? Oh, shit. Alright, so. We have the Knight of Swords reversed. The hot... Sorry, I was going to say the Hierophant is the Hermit, but maybe the Hierophant will come out later in the reading. We have Knight of Swords reversed, the Hermit reversed, and Queen of Pentacles. So right off the bat, I'm seeing that you're coming out of a period of isolation, a period of being alone, kind of feeling lonely for some of you. For some of you, I just pick it up on like lonely energy. Moving away from a situation, coming out of a period of stagnation and just isolation and being fulfilled in your money your career your bank account is looking really fucking happy queen of pentacles you have everything you need to prosper so i definitely see that like in the past or maybe currently right now recent past whatever you were kind of in a little isolation mode but now you're starting to come out and like socialize or fucking put yourself out there so that's what i'm getting for the little pre-shuffle, now we're going to get into your actual reading. Okay, oh my god, my hair, can you, can you not? God, it's like tickling my eye, oh, my eye is twitching now. Okay, 
my left eye today started twitching this morning and last night and now it's starting to twitch again and it's my left eye and they're just like what the fuck is up <laughs> what the fuck Wait, what messages do we have for cancer i just heard four in my head so i'm gonna do four more shots right what messages do we have for cancer from the fourth? Oh, the fourth, right? Because this is from the fourth to the eleventh, and I heard. I see you. I see you, universe. I, I okay. I see what you're doing. What messages do we have for cancer? Okay, that was four. Or some shit. Who gives a fuck? All right. So, current energy. We have the nine of cups reversed. Eight of Cups, okay. Two of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so this is your current energy that I'm picking up on, whether this is your recent past or you haven't actually got into this energy just yet. This could be something that's happening um, in the near future. Oh my god, my eyebrow is itchy. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> oh, the struggles. Okay, so this is your current energy. We have the Nine of Cups reversed. We have Eight of Cups, Two of Wands, and Queen of Pentacles. So, it's looking like you are leaving behind a situation that is not fulfilling you emotionally because we got the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups reversed. So you are leaving behind this situation that was dragging you down, that wasn't making you happy, that was bringing sadness into your life or just draining energy and you are taking a pause. You're Like literally, two wands. It looks like the pause button. Like, pause. You're taking a little break. Break for yourself. A break from this bullshit and focusing on your wealth you know what I'm saying <laughs> that's what I'm getting you're focusing on what you want and you're making that happen and nobody's fucking gonna stop you nobody's gonna get in the way of what you want you're leaving bullshit behind because they're not worth your time or a relationship or some shit who knows but I see that you're focusing on your wealth your health etc Queen of Pentacles focusing on what you want making it happen and that you have everything you need to prosper I like it. I like it. So now we're going to go in to see who you could be dealing with. We have the Queen of Swords reversed. King of Swords. Okay, so we have a pair right here. <laughs> Four of Cups and Ace of Swords reversed. So this is one side. We're going to see the other person and one of the guys will be you. We have the Two of Swords. The Hermit reversed could be dealing with Virgo. Nine of Pentacles and Four of Swords. Okay. Let me just set this aside. So, a lot of air energy here, and I mean, there's a mix of air. It's like half air, half earth. So, you could be dealing with an earth sign, you could have air in your chart, possibly not. So far, we have all the signs on the table, though. So, on this side, we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, but the Queen of Swords is reversed, and that is influence the energy for this person so somebody may have a little bit of an attitude it's like you know what i'm picking up on this person is very capable of managing and manipulating their feminine side versus their oh sorry feminine side versus their masculine side right so when they need to they can turn off their fem feminine side and be masculine you know not be so emotional and just logical and like facts and here are the fucking facts versus like okay oh my god i'm so sad i'm gonna cry oh my god you hurt my feelings and you know like <laughs> you know what i'm saying and so it's just kind of like a mix a match so depending on the situation you could have made a head over heart decision you but then with the queen of swords reverse it's like i know i'm like flip floppy everywhere like oh my god so many things come into my mind but like you're not afraid to speak the truth and you don't sugarcoat it you just you just speak the facts now some people may have a problem with the way you speak it if you're you're just straight up you're just being like this is it this is the facts this is how it is and if you don't like it i don't really give a fuck i'm gonna make a head over heart decision i'm gonna leave your shit behind and i'm focusing on my motherfucking coin nobody can stop me bitch and so I definitely see that you can have your guard regarding people who are trying to get in the way of your happiness, you know? And so you have to be this king of sorts, head over heart, making head over heart decisions, cutting out people that no longer suit you, no longer resonate with you. And so with the four of cups, it's almost like rejection towards these people that, you know, 
no longer resonate with you. And I think it's due to the fact that there could there could be snakes in the grass, liars, people that lie straight to your face, smile in your face. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. But really, they talk shit behind your back. And so I see you're putting an end to this. Four of Cups, rejection. I don't need your bullshit no more, bitch. I'm cutting you out. Double fucking swords, man. I got one sword in this hand, one sword in this hand. Try me, bitch. You try and lie, I cut you, you know? That's the energy I'm getting from this. It's like, don't you dare try and lie to my face. You may, you know what? You may know the truth, but you come off like you don't know shit so that they think that you don't know, but really, you actually do know. But they don't know that you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep your friends close, enemies closer. So it's like you're almost lying back to them. It's like, oh, you're going to do that? You're going to play this game? Try me, bitch. Try me. <laughs> and then on this side, this person, they have a decision. Two of swords. Which way do I go? Do I go left? Do I go right? Up to you. I see this person could be coming out of an isolation, little period of thinking, contemplation, isolation, contemplation. <laughs> I see that this person is trying to build themselves up, trying to be, what's the word, independent, um, self-reliant, well, that wasn't the word I was trying to think of, um, what's the word, responsible, but I see that they're not taking very much action with the Four of Swords. They're kind of just doing jack shit. This person's contemplating a decision, but they're doing jack shit about this decision. I wonder what this decision is. We got two twos here. Could be Virgo on this side. Hmm. We're going to go into this shit. We're going to see what the fuck is up. How long has this been? I can't see shit. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so fucking blind, I'm like squinting, because like the little timestamp thing, a little, whatever, the number that shows how long it's been, it's so small, I'm like, I can't fucking see shit, I need like those granny glasses, <laughs> a little magnifying glass, oh look, we have the sun, we got the motherfucking sun, try me bitch, alright, we're gonna look into this nine of cups reverse, what is this situation? Look, the hermit again wants to show itself. Alright. There is just a lot of air energy here. Like, it, throughout this whole spread, this whole reading, there's a lot of air. Which has to do with your mental thoughts and just, like, the logic and, like, how your mind is going and what you're thinking. And I feel like it's, like, regarding more emotional relationships than actual money definitely see it's more related to relationships i'm feeling tell me about the f wow i can't even what <laughs> i literally just went I, my brain just went pause for a second i'm like tell me about the <laughs> tell me about the nine of cups please for cancer eight of swords oh let's get a couple i'm about the eight of cups no, that's not Eight of Cups, it's Nine of Cups. Ugh. Right, the Nine of Cups. Ooh, the star reversed. Uh, oh, and this guy. Nine of Swords reversed. Oh, shit. We got two nines on the table. Oh, we have two nines, two eights, and two... Oh, shit, we got three nines. Nine, nine, nine. I think that was in... Sagittarius reading? I, again, I don't, I don't even remember what nine, nine, nine means for the angel numbers or the angel number nine. I don't remember shit. Google search it if that's what you're interested in, in. Like, you've been seeing nines, you're like, what is nine? You just Google search it. So, what are you leaving behind? Regarding this nine of cups reversed and the eight of cups, right? We haven't clarified eight of cups, but you're leaving this behind, I'm feeling strongly. So, you're leaving behind a situation or a relationship where you felt stuck, tied to. Maybe you were trying to get rid of this person, this connection, for a long time, for years, months, who fucking knows? But you were stuck. You didn't know what to do. You're kind of just like literally stuck in a pickle. You know? But now I see, hey, nine of swords, nine of swords reverse, release. Fuck you, bitch. I'm releasing myself. It's basically like you cutting the rope. You know how she's like tied? You're cutting that shit. 
cutting that shit and you see things clearly you see things exactly as they are the star reversed you see things and this also represents that you lost faith that there's no hope regarding this situation this connection you've just you're like fuck it fuck it could also be dealing with an aquarius a lot of a lot of air energy so keep that in mind keep that in mind so yeah, it's a situation where it just used to stress you out, you felt stuck in it, like you didn't know what to do, but then eventually you fucking clear that shit out because you see things exactly as they are and you lose, you lose faith or you lost faith or you will lose faith. I don't fucking know. All right, let's go into this Eight of Cups. Tell me about this Eight of Cups for Cancer. Tell me the Eight of Cups. Hey, yeah. Uh, ow, fuck. <laughs> Page of Swords reversed. Oh, the Tower reversed. Wow. And five of pentacles. Pff, my hair fuck off. Reverse. Five of pentacles reversed. Alright. Judgment is at the bottom of the deck. Decision. Major changes. Major life decision. So eight of cups. What are you leaving behind? So you could be leaving behind somebody who just talks a bunch of shit. I'm just getting somebody who talks a bunch of shit. And didn't I say that? Didn't I say that somewhere in the beginning? Like, oh, this person probably talks, smiles in your face, but talks shit behind your back. Well, page of swords reversed. Gossip, talking shit, spreading rumors, lying ass bitch. This person probably lied about you, lied on your name, talking all this smack. Just saying. Maybe you left them out in the cold. But there was this tower moment, whether it was a little realization you had or just like putting your foot down. But I see that you're starting to rebuild yourself with this Queen of Pentacles, right? You're trying to rebuild yourself, trying to build yourself back up after this realization, this shocking little, oh my god, I did not see that coming kind of moment, right? And then I see you're coming into a place you know how in the pre-shuffle it was the hermit reverse which is right here maybe you're coming out of a period of isolation right that's what i was saying coming out of the cold maybe you for a long time or a long period you felt lonely like you had nobody to go to well i see lots of positive things are coming your way and i see you're coming out of this state of mind the state of loneliness this could also be talking about money financial maybe you were you know struggling with money or money wasn't coming in or it just was a very a stable foundation but i see that throughout September, not just this week because time is fucking fluid, this could play out throughout whole of September, maybe even till November, but I see money's coming in, money will come in, so just have that faith. You're coming out of this stagnant period, cold isolation, you're coming out of this, you're coming out of this and you're going towards good things, alright? Have faith. Have faith. <laughs> Tell me about the two of wands. For cancer, what is this decision? Twos are always decisions. Hello, what is this? Okay, King of Pentacles reverse. Oh, we have a pair here, Queen and King. The world. Ooh, wow, we got two cards wanting to come out, so I'll take them. I guess we have three. No, four. Look, <laughs> I can't count. We got two more. So. Two of Wands, this decision, obviously it's like, okay, I'm making choices for me, I'm going towards what I want, I'm going towards my dreams, my fulfillment, my, you know, my wishes. I'm going to put my sage away because it stopped burning. And, um, I see you could just be choosing to leave behind somebody who was unstable. This, this King of Pentacles reverse, somebody who was unstable, leaving behind and closing out cycles with the world. Leaving behind people who are emotionally manipulative, emotionally unavailable, emotionally immature. People who, yeah, emotionally immature. We have a page of wands reverse. This is also representing bad news, but page of wands. Pages are always immature, young energy. Leaving behind immature people who are just, you know, egotistical, self-centered. Leaving behind those people and moving towards people who actually give a shit. People who support you and want you to be successful, want you to be happy and, like, support you and um yeah you're leaving you're leaving that bullshit behind towards going towards new things like oh my god I'm like so many fucking i'm just like i can't i'm like breathing all heavy because i'm like oh, i'm like, i can't <laughs> why am i like this why am i like this oh my god i need to chill the fuck out 
need to chill the fuck out, otherwise ambulance gonna be called for me. <laughs> okay, there's fucking sirens in the- Never mind, I thought I heard some shit, but... Tell you the queen of pentacles. Oh shit, we got the hermit reverse. See, coming out of a period of isolation. Double confirmation, really. These two cards are kind of talking about the same shit. Coming out of the cold. Coming into the warmth. A relief. Like, I just sense, like, major, like, <sighs> like, oh my god, weight off my shoulders, you know? That's kind of what I'm sensing. Just like, oh, finally, I've waited for this shit my whole life. Or, like, this last year or the, the past few months has been so rough, but finally, it's just like, finally, see, look, strength at the bottom of the deck. Just like, oh my god, holding on to the strength, not giving up. And finally, I'm seeing my foods come in. Finally, I'm getting what I deserve. Finally, I have the right people in my life. Finally, I got money coming in. Finally, I'm feeling inspired. Finally, I got what I want. Basically, is what I'm getting from this. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles for Cancer. King of Wands. See, so this is something that you would be very passionate about. Something that brings something that brings you joy, but also does you well financially. This could be a career, some like job, this business you're starting, something that's creative, and just people look up to you and are inspired by you. And tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, please. Just being very passionate. It could be also dealing with a Sagittarius. Four Cups came out as well. So you could just... Rejecting the shit that does not make you happy. Rejecting shit that does not motivate you. That does not help you on this path. Help you on this journey. You're getting rid of that. You're pushing that aside. You're moving forward from that shit. And you're leaving all this bullshit behind. And that's good. You're focusing on what inspires you. You're coming out of the state of feeling lonely. Or you know, not very well financially. You're coming out of this negative time in your life and you're moving towards more positive, positive things, you know? It's like you gotta drop the negative shit before you can have the positive stuff, the happy stuff. Talking about the Queen of Swords reversed. Woo! Page of Pentacles reversed. See? No longer accepting or extending people who just take, take, take the moon reverse because you see shit clearly, like I said, with the Ace of, Ace of Swords reverse. Talking about the Queen of Swords reverse, please. Queen of Pentacles, double confirmation again. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. You are focusing on your coin and you're not tolerating shit from nobody. Talking about the King of Swords for Cancer. Three Pentacles. This could definitely be a well work situation. Let's just get a couple more cards before I speak. We got Queen of Cups. Literally, we have. I don't think we have Queen of Wands, but we have like every other fucking queen. Y'all are like in your energy this month. I don't know what the fuck is up. We have the Chariot Reverse. Okay, so things may be feeling a little bit off, a little bit in a funk. Things may be feeling a little bit like, hmm. But yeah, well, that makes sense though. That does make sense because you guys are kind of in this. If this is you, you're kind of in this logical mindset versus your normal, typical Cancerian, emotional, loving. I mean, you're, you still are. You still are this Queen of Cups. Like, this is you being loving and shit. But behind behind your love in your heart and your warm, ooey-gooey heart, right, you got this solid rock covering your heart. You know, it's kind of like a protection around your heart from those who just take, 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 or like, you know, they have not the wrong interests, and you have like a little, a shield, you know, and you're being, you're not letting these people manipulate you, because as cancer people, we are very emotional, and we're loving, and we fucking end up feeling guilty for shit that they did, or just like, you trying to guilt trip me for your own problems, for your own issues, for your fuck-ups, and now you're trying to make me feel guilty? No, it, it, it ain't like that anymore. You're cutting that shit out, and you're not tolerating that shit. You're not putting up with crap. But, like, to those who do support you and, like, care for you and, like, good people, right? You're like, oh, yeah, I love them, lovey-dovey, right? But the Queen of Cups. But, like, for those that are just take, 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 you got your guard up. That's kind of what I'm seeing. It's like you're willing to collaborate. You're willing to work with people who though those people work with you. You're working to, like, okay, 50-50, right? Cool, cool, cool. But those who just take, 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 you're like, no, no, no. <laughs> and then you put a halt to that situation. You put a halt to those relationships, those people. But you could also just kind of be feeling a little bit out of your element, which makes sense because there is a lot of air on this side. So you're not usually super logical. 
you use your emotions more but i'm seeing that you have a good balance between the masculine versus the feminine side of yourself you know that's good keep it up <laughs> keep it up all right let's go into this four of cups talking about the four of cups for cancer what's being rejected here look at this emperor reverse emperor reverse you could be dealing with an aries oh shit ace of cups reverse oh my god <laughs> Rejection, I'm telling you, rejection. Oh my god. Yeah, six of cups reverse. You're oh my god, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this is definitely about like I'm feeling relationships and just people that just don't people who could be overly controlling of not themselves, but the people and the situation around them. They try and control and control and control, and you're like, uh-uh, bitch, uh-uh, rejection, nope. You think you kind of like look at these people, these certain people, these types of people in a negative light. You're looking at the negative parts of them because they're just like so damn controlling and egotistical and materialistic to the over top, you know? Like they're over top with that shit. And you're like, you know what? I think you and I, like, we don't vibe no more. Maybe in the past we were like close, we were tight. But you know what? Things change. I don't need you anymore. I'm at a different point in my life and it's time for me to move forward. And we can go our separate ways, basically. Go on your separate ways. You see how these two horses, they're going different ways. Go on your separate ways. Go on your separate ways. Sometimes that's what happens. That's like people come, people go. People come into your life, teach you a lesson, and then they, then they disappear. And that's that's kind of how it goes. There's always a lesson to be learned. Tell me the Ace of Swords reversed. Two of Wands. Okay, double confirmation. Two of Wands, two of Wands. So this is obviously a decision about something. Oh, shit. About nine of cups reversed again double confirmation i'm telling y'all telling y'all so much double confirmation up in this spread i fucking can't like so like there's so many doubles there's the the hermit we have the queen of pentacles we have okay you know what it doesn't even matter but there's all this double confirmation basically just confirming like yes 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 it's like okay 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 let's get one more for the ace of i was gonna say ace of wands ace of swords reverse for cancer was this justice reverse so regarding secrets lies people being sneaky right so you're kind of just waiting it out waiting for bitches to expose themselves you're just sitting back chilling and watching everybody just show the real colors and so you're seeing everything for what it is not of cups reversed you're seeing the truth in the situation in these relationships connections whatever it is and you're seeing how unbalanced they are how you know they're out of control this emperor reversed whoever you're dealing with they're out of control they're fucking and you don't want to deal with that shit and so you're just kind of like waiting for like the opportunity to just like disappear and like never speak to them again or whatever and just know that any wrongdoing that there has been there will be justice there will be justice i'm telling you i actually saw justice um the card justice um with this deck in my dream two nights ago and like there were two other cards i don't know what, what ones they were but i saw justice and like i know what it meant for me but i figured hey justice is here like Maybe it's just like, I don't know, a message or some shit. <laughs> Wait, I'm not using this deck. Okay. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. We're gonna do it. Mm, yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Because I was reaching towards it so clearly there. Like, just do it. So, fuck it. Talk about the Two of Swords for this other person. I mean,. I mean, in a way, I guess I could see how this would apply to you guys. Like, if this is you, but then I can see how this kind of does is a similar energy. Like, you made a decision coming out of isolation, a period of, you know, being alone, focusing on your coin, but also resting. So that could be you as well, but, like, let's just pretend that this is the person you're dealing with, okay? We're just going to see what else comes out. Because this could be you, this may not be you. Sound of Swords reversed. Like I said, a lying manipulator bitches playing games turn it up. 
Two of Swords, please. I have a Two of Swords. The Tower. Okay, double confirmation again. The Tower did come out from one of these. The Tower. See? Double fucking confirmation. The Tower. Nine of Swords reversed. Double confirmation again. Nine of Swords reversed. <laughs> every fucking card is just like double fucking confirmation. Every fucking, every damn card, man. I swear. <laughs> it's always got to be a double. So it's just confirming. So this Two of Swords, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this is just your whole reading. Like, take it however it resonates. If this is your reading and this is you and this is you, then it's you, okay? But this decision, Two of Swords. All right, so let's so some tower moment, this realization, right? About somebody who could have been a trickster, a manipulator, a liar, somebody who was up to no good, somebody who caused a lot of anxiety, but you made the decision to cut that shit out. A lot of air energy up in this bitch, like a lot of mental thought, a lot of like thinking it out, planning things, kind of trying to make the right moves, trying to avoid conflict, but like, you know, not wanting to put up with this shit no more. Tell me about the Hermit. Nine of Wands. We have another nine up on this table. So many fucking nines here. Nine, nine, nine. 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 <laughs> oh my god, so many fucking nines. Nine is your number. What is this card? Oh, the Hermit. Tell me about the Hermit reverse. Five of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Hermit reverse. One more. Okay, the world again. The world reversed. More double confirmation, I'm telling you. So, regarding the Hermit Reversed, coming out of an isolation period, coming out, socializing, whatever the fuck. So there's this Nine of Wands. You're pushing, you're pushing, you're pushing, you're almost there. You're almost done this cycle, okay? Tens are always the end of a cycle, and we're at nine. There's a lot of nines here, so I'm just saying, like, especially with the world showing up twice, cycles are coming to an end. Cutting out those loose ties, cutting shit and making them finalize decisions, right? With the Five of Cups reverse. So if this is you, yeah, the Hermit reverse, after kind of going within, reflecting, and maybe, you know, being sad for a bit, letting yourself feel, but then coming out of this isolation and being back on your bullshit, not letting this shit affect you emotionally, and you're just looking at the facts. You're no longer dwelling. You're no longer letting yourself be upset. You're back on your shit. You're back on your shit, Cancer. And, um... Again, the world reverse, closing out cycles, closing out things that no longer fulfill you. I feel like this is just your whole reading. Like, honestly, this just feels like, just like an extended, like, who are you dealing with? We're going to see. We're going to, we're going to do a little spread for who you guys are dealing with. If you're dealing with anybody. Yeah, let's fucking do it. <laughs> um, little last minute decision. But um, the world reverse, closing out cycles. Am I right? Am I right? I think I am. Because like. You're no longer putting up with shit. And that's like a major life decision, you know? Putting your foot down. Come the Nine of Pentacles for Cancer. Yeah, Five of Wands reverse. Like I said, I was just like, you don't want conflict. You don't want drama. You just, it's like you're just done with this shit and you don't want it to be, you don't, how do I work this? It's like, you're done with this shit, but you don't want it to be like, like when you end this shit, you don't want it to be drama. You don't want like all this conflict and that, cause it's unnecessary. You would rather just like fucking just push it away and not deal with it. <laughs> Basically. I mean, I feel you. I feel you. Tell me the nine of pentacles. You just want to, but you just want to work on your coin and yourself without having to deal with any other bullshit. Basically. Oh my God. Okay, what is this? Seven of Wands. Yeah, see? Like, you have your guard up. You don't want this. You don't... You have your guard up, and you're, like, trying to dodge all of them bullets coming your way. It's just like, nope, nope, no drama. Oh, this person wants to start a fight? Blocked. This person's mad at me? I don't give a fuck. I'm not even gonna respond. Like, you're not even wasting your damn time. Am I right? You just don't want that shit. You don't have time for it. You got better things to focus on. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. One more, okay. Ace of Cups reverse, double fucking confirmation. This is literally just, this is, this, I, I think this is you on both sides. <laughs> this is your reading, Cancer. Your fucking reading. Ace of Cups reversed. Double time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm fucking, like, I swear. 
This is just like really just confirming what I'm feeling, you know? Okay, I'm just trying to make it less messy. And the four of swords, okay. Two of cups reversed. What about four of swords? Tell me about the four of swords. Ooh, ten of swords. A lot of fucking swords here. Oh my god. <laughs> Some mental shit. Some this affected your mental health. Okay, a lot of cards wanted to come out, but we're gonna just take them. We have oh my god, double confirmation, double confirmation, double more. <laughs> like literally, page of swords reversed. Page of swords. Five of pentacles. Uh, five of pentacles, and they're both reversed. Like fucking all of this double confirmation. I fucking. You have the ten. So for the four of swords, taking a time for yourself. Zen, heal, rest. A little reflection, just taking a period, a little pause, like I said at the beginning, this two of wands, taking a pause for yourself, a little break, like, hold up. No, not coming together with whoever this individual is, like, I'm just double confirmation, like, ace of cups reverse, two of cups reverse. You do not want to come together with any bullshit, any people that put up with, you know, cause bullshit. We have the five of pentacles reverse. Again, like, money-wise, I see money's gonna be fucking solid for you guys in September. And page of swords. Somebody could again. Somebody could be watching. Somebody could be lurking, creeping, stalking, watching. Page of swords as well. You know, gossip, drama, talking shit, harsh words. Somebody trying to cause arguments. Somebody's just trying to like you know poking you with a stick. It's like, hey, cancer. Hey, cancer. And they're like, can you just like fuck off? And it's just like you don't want drama. You're trying to just like. Hey, fuck off. Not be like, fuck off, you stupid bitch, you know, because you're trying to stay calm. I see you're trying to stay calm and balanced and grounded. Like, definitely staying grounded with the Queen of Pentacles twice. But, you know, this person's just, like, testing you. It's just like, really? You fucking betrayed me, Ten of Swords, you know, stabbed me in the motherfucking back, used me, blah, blah, blah. And you're trying to, no, 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 no. All right, let's just do a quick little spread on who you could be dealing with. And then I'm going to do a little reading for the singles. How long has this been? Oh, God. 37 minutes. <laughs> we're gonna, This is going to be real quick, okay? And then we're going to give advice. Oh, my God. Can I just, like... Because oh. who are you dealing with? Who are you dealing with? Do we really give a shit about who you're dealing with? I guess we'll just... We'll just... Fuck it. We'll see. I stick to my motherfucking word, all right? We're going to see who you're dealing with. Who you could be dealing with. Regarding that last spread, because it was all you. Maybe some of you were like, let's fucking see who I was dealing with. I'm like, okay, let's see. Let's see, man. Who was Cancer dealing with regarding the last spread? Who is Cancer cutting out? <laughs> who is Cancer cutting out? T. <laughs> Alright, let's do it here, man. Who's Cancer cutting out? Tell me what the person Cancer is dealing with. Oh my god! The Wheel of Fortune Reverse? Yeah. This person stunts your growth, I can just tell. The High Priestess. Knight of Wands. Somebody who's in and out, very wishy-washy. Your intuition has been spot on about this person. And if you've been ignoring it, it's time to listen. Four of Cups, see you're rejecting this motherfucking person. It's literally just like... Okay, one more, one more. The Moon. Okay, could be dealing with the Pisces as well, alright? So, I just see that this person stunts your growth. Whoever you're dealing with, Cancer, they stunt your growth. They stop you from moving forward, from expanding, from becoming a better person. Your intuition, pay attention to your intuition. Your intuition is trying to tell you something about this person. The moon, the high priestess in the moon reverse. This is something about your intuition, and your intuition is spiked. It is trying to tell you something. Pay attention to it, alright? So this person could have been somebody who's just in and out energy, like in and out, wishy-washy. They don't know what the fuck they want. And it's like, stop wasting my motherfucking time. Figure out what it is that you want. But I just see rejection. Four of cups, like I said, rejection. So that was like kind of who you're dealing with. Now we're going to do a little reading for the singles who aren't currently dealing with anybody. Tell me about the single cancers. Any messages for the single cancers watching this video? Any messages for the single cancers watching this video? 
Okay, two more, I heard. <laughs> We're gonna do two more, all right? Any messages for the single cancers aren't dealing with anybody? All right. What messages do we have for the single cancers watching this video? Any messages? Oh my god. Four Cups keeps wanting to fucking come out. Oh my god. King of Pentacles. A. One more, please. For the single cancers. Five of Cups. Okay. Woo! So. With the Four Cups, rejection, like I said, you could be rejecting something. Now, something is making you sad. Something is like, you know, it's a little bit heavy, a little bit hard to deal with. But I see that you're staying strong and you're pushing through and you're not giving up. Now, just know that whatever this situation is that's causing you pain or sadness, just know this is an opportunity for personal growth. It may not seem like it. It may seem like the most shittiest thing in your life. But just know that this is meant to happen to put you on the right path so that... You can be a stronger person. Just know a week from now, you're going to be stronger than who you are today. Two weeks from now, you're going to be even stronger. A month from now, a year from now, you're going to be a strong ass bitch. So don't you dare give up, all right? With the King of Pentacles, you're going to be very abundant this month, okay? Money's coming in. Money's looking good. Like I said, throughout this whole reading, money has been looking good for you. So don't have any fears regarding your money, your wealth, your health. I'm seeing things are going to be great for you. You just got to stay balanced. You just got to stay grounded, okay? So that's for my single cancers. Let's get some advice now because this reading has been long as fuck. And I've, every fucking time I'm like, oh, I'm going to have a short reading. It's been like long as fuck. I need to just be like, oh, I'm going to have a long reading. And then they're going to be like 20 minutes. My god, some reverse psychology shit. <laughs> anyway, what advice do you have for Cancer? What advice do you have for Cancers watching this video? What advice do you have for Cancer? Any advice for Cancer watching this video? Look, Four of Swords wanted to come out, so take some time for you. To heal and rest and get that moon sleep, self care, reflect. Any advice? Shit. Any advice for Cancer? Two more, right? Any advice for Cancer? Okay, any advice for Cancer watching this video? The moon, the hermit. These are some so many fucking of the same cards. I swear, a lot of similar colors too: blue, purple, and green. Eight of Pentacles. Let's get one more for Cancer. Any advice? Take it. All right. <laughs> Wait, I'm taking it. Five of Pentacles again. It showed up like how many fucking times? How many fucking times? Five of Pentacles have shown up. All these fucking cards besides Eight of Pentacles. These all have shown up now. That's crazy. So, advice. Take some time to rest, to heal, to get your shit together, to get your energy back up. Take a couple days if you got it. Just rest. Have a little resting period. It's like literally saying double confirmation. Hey, Cancer, take a period. Take a little break. It's all right. You need to gain your balance back. You need to gain your energy back. And you need to just pull away for a couple days or however long. Even if it's just like for a night or a couple hours. Just to reflect and go within and rest and just clear your mind. Pay attention to your intuition. Especially if you go inside and you reflect. Take the moment to go within. Really go within. Look at this. The moon. Your intuition is spiked this time of the year. And also, just know Listening to your intuition is going to help guide you. You see these little stepping stones that just go to the distance? It's like, it's not going to be easy. There will be some stones that are wobbly and you jump on them and it's like, oh my god, I'm like off balance, I'm about to fall off and I'm going to fall into the fucking river, right? No, it's all good. You're going to be fine. You just got to take little baby steps, okay? Just know you are supported and you're guided and... Just keep on following and listening to that intuition. Follow that damn path, okay? Keep that motivation. Eight of Pentacles. Stay motivated. Sometimes you need to take a break a couple days or whatever to so just zone out. 
and restore your energy so that you can have the motivation to work, okay? I see you guys are dedicated to whatever it is that you want. And this could just be regarding money with the Five of Pentacles reverse again. Like I said, money has been looking solid in this reading. Money's been looking fucking solid. So money will be good this month, I'm telling you. And oh my god, I got all this ash on my table. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> but yeah. So, oh my god, that was loud. That was your reading. Hope it gave you some insight. And, um, yeah. That's all I gotta say. Listen to that intuition. Cut the bullshit out. And just keep on doing you, alright? So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.